Okay, here I'm going to go over some of the anatomical planes of the body. Now, it won't take very long to go over, but this is something you should be reviewing and be able to recognize each of these. It's very important, especially when we get to dissections. You can see all these different planes here on these different horses. Right now, it just looks like a bunch of plates. Each of these has a particular name, and hopefully by the end of this, you'll be able to identify those. So starting first with just general anatomical planes and just anatomical orientation, we have the dorsal side of the horse, which is the back, the ventral, which is typically the stomach region, distal, you see the hooves are distal, and proximal would be closer to the midsection. Cranial is towards the head, caudal is towards the back. So distal, we're saying something's distal, it's further away from the midpoint. Proximal would be closer to that particular midpoint. Just a little bit way kind of identifying and breaking something else apart here we see our planes are coming in now so we have our dorsal plane our transverse plane still cranial is still towards the head caudal still towards the back the dorsal side of the tail is the back side the ventral is the underside you can see our caudal towards the back cranial towards the head all of this still holds true despite where you may be on the animal and the neck region, the dorsal, again, is the back, and ventral would be kind of the underside region here. This light gray area here that looks like it's kind of highlighting the whole thing, that's actually the sagittal plane. So looking at this, the brain into the three different planes, we have the frontal plane, which is represented by um, this pane right here, this kind of plane right here. The sagittal plane, which is here, dividing it right down the center. And then our transverse plane, which is this kind of region right here and how the brain might look. These are some of our sectional planes, and you should be familiar with these, not just in the brain, but in any sort of specimen in general, because they all hold true. Again, comparing it to a human may, might make a little bit more sense. We have our transverse, which is basically cutting the body right in, in half, almost in this case here. But on this particular plane, we'll be looking at dividing it um, crossways. Then we have a coronal plane here, which is that kind of more vertical, kind of still the width of the body here. And then the last one here in um, kind of the purpley blue would be the sagittal plane. And that'd be kind of almost, in this case, right down the middle region here. Putting those just in three different ways to look at it, our sagittal plane, our transverse plane, um, and our coronal plane here. I try to show in different colors. Um, different areas to point to. They all are basically representing and showing the same planes of the body, uh, but one might make a little bit more sense to you, one might be easier to understand. So pick whichever one is most helpful to you and try to learn that one. And as a way to test yourself, if you go back to the beginning slide, the title slide here, hopefully you can identify what some of these planes are in the body and also regions of the model horse.